Good morning, everybody. Um, I would like to start this uh, with a little ritual. And um, it's a ritual I'm trying to do every morning. It's a gratitude affirmation ritual. So um, I'm very thankful to be here in this universe, on this planet, in this body. I'm very thankful to be in this country. I'm thankful to be in this city, Berlin. I'm thankful to be here in Ahoy Berlin, and I'm very thankful to see you all to come to hear what I have to say. And um, thank you, Creative Mornings, for inviting me to express myself. Thank you. And um, to raise our vibrations a little bit more, I'm going to burn some Palo Santo. <coughs> to bless this amazing room, because we're going to talk about mysteries, you know, so it has to be prepared for what's going to happen. So... So, yes. We are blessing this room and everybody here with uh, creative energy and some positive vibes. And thank you again for coming. <clears throat> it's really my first experience with doing something with the presentation, so I hope it's going to work out. <laughs> so, mystery. Um, what is mystery and why we are interested in it? Um, for me, mystery is something, is the belief that there is something more than what we can actually see. So there is something more than just this reality. There is something bigger or more interesting. And um, so um, here you can, I'm going to illustrate my presentation with my own works. And this is from my um, recent solo show in Berlin. And you can see here is the question, have you figured this life out? And um, so for me, um, life was quite a mystery from the very beginning. And I was um, very motivated to find out, okay, what is it all about? What's going on? And uh, how do I deal with it? So I went to get um, humanitarian education as a psychologist. And I'm studying psychology and psychoanalysis for more than 10 years in general. And um, so I'm going to tell you my personal experience with mystery and how it affected my art, so to say. I hope it's going to be inspiring for you also. Um, so, uh, when I was studying psychology, uh, it, for, it led me to Carl Jung and his concepts of um, human psycho, which uh, opened also the door to some metaphysical space. And that's why um, he kind of got away from academical research and he went into a mi mystical realm. And that's why um, this was the point when I started to get interested into mystic myself. And um, this was my first um, live performances I was doing in 2015. Uh, it was, uh, this one is called Interpretations of Black Magic. So I was um, trying to really intuitively um, dig into this darkness and mysterious world of uh, magic and occult studies and everything you can imagine around it. And um, it was pretty dark and as you can see, um, but also very interesting. Um, uh, this is also how I got into rituals in general. So rituals is a big part of my artistic practice. And I think rituals is um, very mysterious act of um, also entering some other reality than this one. So I use it every time for every performance I do. Um, also rituals led me to the practice of meditation and other spiritual practices such as um, uh, tarot reading, you know, the uh, tarot cards and uh, Yes, tarot cards. I really like to do this and it's also a big part of my journey. 
I've been um, learning to do tarot in Los Angeles and um, practicing to do it now for about uh, two years. So if you're interested also about this, you can ask some questions. And um, so this is also one, paint, one of the paintings from my uh, solo show. And it's called Not Everybody is a Star and Not is kind of taking in the braces because uh, it's a question. So is everybody a star or is not everybody a star? And um, I think that only you decide if you are a star or not. So not anybody else can tell you if you're a star or not a star. And um, also, this is how I came to the concept of alchemy. And this, um, the very interesting medieval uh, self-help tool, how I call it, is um, inner alchemy, the, um, the way of transformation. Um, it's also very much connected to the Buddhism and other spiritual teachings um, about karma and chakras and how you can uh, expand your mind, how you can evolve, how you can uh, become something more than just a human. Because as you can see here, it's called Dribis, the final stage of alchemical process. It's, um, it's a magical creature which is not... Uh, a man, not a woman, it's an androgynous figure standing on an egg and um, there is a dragon underneath and there is a star and the moon and everything is in balance. And uh, I was also trying to understand, okay, what does it mean? What does it mean, these alchemical symbols? What does it mean, um, this Ouroboros um, eating his tail, which for me represents the eternal uh, struggle, eternal uh, drive for knowledge. So we want to know more, we want to know more, we want to know more. And here is um, how I understand this. It's uh, the only way we can become perfect is to understand that we cannot become perfect actually. And the only perfection is the balance, that we reach our own balance of good, evil, dark and white and be, uh, bad and good and uh, so that's how we balance in this life and we try to uh, not fall, which is hard. <laughs> so um, this is also a alchemical symbol for gold and integrity. And we're coming back to Carl Jung, who is um, his, his greatest idea, which I really liked, was that um, a human being is... is um, it's possible to become integral. It's possible to heal itself. It's possible to become um, more than just um, human, so to say, uh, more than this um, struggling creature suffering from life. And uh, he said that it's not for everybody, so it's only for chosen ones. So it's only for those who are chosen, they can reach this kind of golden state. And here also a little representation. Uh, so I'm just telling you the way I went through, so uh, following Jung and all this. And on the left, we see the symbol that we all know, it's um, yin and yang, which is in, al in alchemistry called um, prima materia. So that's how we are, so to say. And on the right, we see the other symbol, it's a trinity, which is, um, so to say, where it's possible to go, which is also balancing of the energies. So there is no black and white, not such a sharp uh, uh, duality, but more of a trinity. And this is also the tarot. Uh, the, the left is the fool. Every, anybody has a tarot experience in general or doing tarot? So, um, on the left is the beginning of the journey, the fool, so a person who decided to, okay, there is something more, I have to find out what's going on in the world. I'm not satisfied with this reality, I want to just go and find something else. So he's all kind of courageous and happy. And on the right, it's the end of his journey, when he, been, he has been through a lot, he, he met a lot of different obstacles, he met his shadows, he met his um, 
enemies and his friends and his uh, own strengths and his own weaknesses. So he was kind of beaten up and uh, yeah, went through a lot, so to say, and learned a lot. And in the end, we can see how <coughs> peaceful he is and completely unattached to anything. So there is no, no ground beneath his feet. So he's kind of floating. And he's also an androgynous figure. So he's neither a woman nor a man. He's just a being which is floating and it's happy and it's naked. He possesses nothing. He wants nothing. He is very peaceful. He's also dancing in a way. And we see two magic wands, which is not even one, but two. So he creates with his both hands. So he's just having fun. And um, basically he has so much power and also um, he's in peace with himself. And for me also, I was, it was hard to understand this card because it's like, how, how can it be, you know? Like, how can, what do you mean? Like, not possess nothing, not be attached to anything. Like, what about the material world? What about this, again, reality? And um, so back to my own work, I was doing uh, this integration of the whole concept uh, through painting and I did um, this series for my uh, solo show. And this painting is called, called Maya, the illusion of the world, which is also a Sanskrit concept of, so to say, matrix, how we call it now. It's uh, the concept that actually what we see is not real. What we see is totally uh, not a reality, it's just a projection, it's just an illusion, it's just um, something that is actually not material at all, it's just our perception. And. Um, Yes, yeah, so in the end, uh, when, you, uh, when I understood that um, this concept of being, of reaching out, of uh, transcending this reality, so to say, so, okay, the earth and our earthy human experience is not uh, the only thing that there is. And uh, this is an installation I did in 2015, which is uh, called Artificial Intelligence. So it's a little bit of an uh, alien who is telling you that you are just a program. So it's um, like uh, reminding us that basically we are not what we think we are. And um, this is also another painting, it's called Void of the Mind, which is uh, showing that as I see there is a way in your mind to expand and we have to remember this. And um, yes, this is my, the mural that I did. And I always do large scale paintings also uh, to, uh, to reinforce the concept that there is something more, something bigger than what we see. And um, uh, yes. The end is the beginning, so it's the end of the presentation, but it's the beginning of uh, uh, the end is always the beginning because when you understand that um, you're coming to an end, it start it uh, opens another door and you understand, okay, I'm again a zero, I'm again a fool, I'm again a student, I can learn more and um, I think the most important is that we understand that um, uh, we are still like children and we are learning from the universe. And um, the most important that we uh, remember that um, um, the concept of God and spirituality is, um, is that understanding that uh, there is something higher than we are and we are reaching for this um, higher, bigger, expanded universe through what we do, through how we live, through how we think also. And uh, uh, yeah, so be like children. That's how D Jesus Christ also said. Be like children, dream and uh, create, expand your mind and um, look for mysteries to unfold. What time is it? <laughs> 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 oh, okay, okay, pretty good. 
Uh, yes. I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.